Yo, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Russian Fishing For, and today we are back at the sea. That is right. So without any further ado guys, let's and gals, let's see how much silver we can make in two days out at sea. Right. I find I have more luck with the green foam than I do with the other stuff, with the pickler and all that. So there we go. A fish right off the bat. Let's see what this is going to be. Come on in. I'll show you my skills in a second here. Alright, I don't want you. I really, really... You like the perch of the sea. I don't like you. Alright, um... Marine fishing here. So this is what I have unlocked currently. I'm at the using light boat rods and using classic marine bottom rigs. And if you guys are down in the comment section below, can you guys tell me, or gals tell me, what this does? What is this? Using classic marine bottom rings. I read through all this. I still don't understand what this is. So if you guys or gals can tell me in the comment section down below what this means or what uh, skill this is, I would much be appreciated because it's been bugging me for a long time. Yeah, I just want to know what this skill does. Like, this skill is connected with the rattling sink rig. Okay, rattler sinking rig. Where is that? Right here. A modification of the classic bottom ring is mainly used to catch wolf fish, which actively react to the weight hitting the rocks this skill is connected with the classic I, I don't know if you guys can just tell me what that is I'd appreciate it oh there we go oh and you know you know what I caught last night oh, I'll show you what I caught last night I'm pretty damn proud of myself for you guys most of you guys and gals probably nothing at all but for me I am very proud all right let's see what this one is safe baby safe i'll use a use bait thank you very much and uh i caught look at this guy's a 37 kilogram cod that's right out of this green rubber foam that is right i'm so happy i caught that that took me for a ride especially with the steel head real oh boy that i probably fought it for a good 45 30 minutes and a bear and it almost almost spooled me if i didn't have this right here the extra gear ratio on my rod <laughs> I would have lost that thing a long time ago, <laughs> but yeah, so let's drink some tea up here Man, I don't even have to edit through the video. I'm just getting fish after fish. Now. That's what I like to see Another short horn sculpin Okay, if you guys have anywhere on the map that is juicy let me know because I would love to hear you guys and gals' opinion of what spots you see. I went to this spot last night, and I think I know why there's no um, meter marker there. It's because it goes everywhere. At one, one spot, you're at 70 meters down, and a tiny bit away, you're at 100 meters down. And then a little further away, you're at 50 meters down. I didn't like it too much because I couldn't contis contis continuously um, jig because the depth kept on changing at the bottom and it drove me mad. So I think that's why there's no meter depth there. Uh, I went to the 41, wasn't active. I went to the 80 hole. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but it's just dropping your rig down 80 feet every single time. And it kind of got to me. Then I went to the 55, wasn't bad at all. This is These two are my favorite, 34 and 55. The 75, it's same thing as the 80. It's, it's, it's decent, but it just takes too long. One day I tried the 215, never again. So, yeah. <laughs> never again. Oh my goodness. I went to the 215 spot, right? And I thought maybe the black, what do, they, what do you call it? The black rough, I think? I'm not sure. Something black. And so I went there to get that fish. And finally, after I got it to the bottom, guess what it was? It was like a sculpin level, like, like uh, 100 grams. So yeah, I, I was not happy. All that effort to get that jig down to the bottom of 250 meters just for a tiny fish every time. So I uh, know I lost it. Nope. I'm out. So if you guys have any spot that's juicy, I tried this last night, the 115. And it was all right. Uh, I tried here. Yeah. You guys can give me your opinions. That'd be awesome. 
hey, I got like 20 sculpins yesterday, and uh, they went for like over 100 silver. I know that's a lot of sculpins for 100 silver, but you know what? Silver is silver. Yeah, it's all right. You know what? I'll take it. As long as it's not under 500 grams, I'll take it for sure. Not a bad eel pout, I'll take it. A lot of good XP off that. What is this going to be? Another sculpin? Ooh. Oh, it's a hat off. Oh, what's up, boy? What's up? What's up? Right. Alright, so while we're here, let's go ahead and make some fillets of Sage. Oh, delicious. Alright. Um, yeah, we don't need the 2.6. I didn't look at the cafe like an idiot. <laughs> I did not look at the cafe, which I definitely should have. Um, so my rule is, if I catch any Sage under 4k, I will automatically fillet them. Um, so a, so a, it um, unlocks my skill points faster, and b, I'll never run out of um, safe fillets. So, yeah. So saves don't really go for much silver, but if you get enough of them, they can go over for they can go over a hundred to hundred silver easily. Like if you have like 15, 20 of them, oh yeah, they can go for some quite a bit of silver. I did repair my reel. If you guys didn't, gals didn't know already. I repaired my reel. Hello. Um, yeah, it costed me about 5.50 gold. For me, not you, me, <laughs> that costed around. Hold up. Where was that? So for me, it cost. You, you guys want to see? You, do you want to see uh, what? how bad the Canadian dollar is? When you guys, if you Americans, or um, European players want to complain of how expensive this game is. Uh-uh. I'm the one that's complaining around here. All right. So, say, let's go for 87, okay? So, for you guys and gals, it's 87.50, right? Well, watch this. Watch this. Look at this. $121. $121. For you guys, it's only 87. That's it. For me, it's 121. It's a lot more for me. A lot more. Like, for premium, I just topped up my premium one month, right? For you guys, it is $15. Want to see how much for me? $20.87. So, never complain about your American dollar. <laughs> it is a lot worse in Canada. It is. It's, it's ridiculous. Our Canadian dollar is trash. All right, another eel pout. Oh man, they're shiny. Look how shiny those things are. Holy, you are one shiny little bugger. You know that? Oh yeah, I do know that. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for your service. Thanks for biting. I got some juicy XP and silver right there. I'll take it. Nice Polog. 4.5 Polog. 17,000 XP. Okay. Thank you.
delicious. What, who does not want to throw that on the frying pan? Oh my goodness, it's scrumptious. Let's go with the pickler rod setup. We're going to use the fancy dancy orange one. We're going to use the fancy dancy extra large. Um, I'm going to use the fancy red fire stick. And I didn't have any of this unlocked last C recording I did. So, well, no, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. But we are going to use... Let's use the octopus, because who doesn't like octopus? Mm. I, I got a question for you guys and girls. I got a question. I, I don't get it. I do not get it. And the fake game robbed me. I, I just, I don't get it. Look at this. This is a 34 meters, right? How am I at 45 meter depth? And it keeps going down. Like if I maneuver my boat a little over there, it'll go to 50 meters. I, I don't understand that. How is it going that far down when it says 34? That really bothers me because I got to consistently have to keep dropping my rig down while I'm trying to perk and then the perking um, symbol goes away and I got to do it over again. I don't understand that. I, I kind of tested it out at the um, this hole right here, 30 hole. And I only went about 15 meters down and I went to jig up and down and I got a lot of blue whiting. I put it down to the basement level of the water or the bottom and I don't catch hardly any blue whitings at all. So are they more of a surface fish? That's what I'm wondering. So yeah, let me know too. My comment section is going to be absolutely full. <laughs> you guys are amazing though. I do appreciate it. You guys are re and gals are really, really amazing. You're good people. I'm making the videos. I'm the one that should be telling you guys on what uh, what's working and not. <laughs> not you guys telling me. But I appreciate it. I do. Ooh, it's just that has an ugly looking fish on it. Oof. A spiny dogfish. I don't. I don't catch too many of those on stream. I'm oh, not stream on recording. <laughs> That's not bad. All right, I'll take it. Thank you for biting the hook and have a great day. We got a bigger one on here. I'd love to see it. It's probably either a big safe, Polak, or Haddock. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, see with my oh, where it was there. Um, when I was fighting my Atlantic Cod at 30 at 38 kg. Right here, you see the speed I'm going right here? It was about a little bit slower than that. And he was 250, no, 275 meters out. Because he was like 20 meters away from spooling me. With my gear ratio max out. I remember that. Oh my goodness. That took forever. Sheesh. Man, I don't want, I don't want to do that again. I really don't. <laughs> Oh, I was wrong. It's a turbot. Is it a turbot or turbot? Is, is that a silent E? Turbot or turbot? I don't know. 
But look at the meat on that. You could get a lot of good meat out of that. So is this is is, is this in a halibut family or what? I don't know. It's a, it's a creepy looking fish. I'll tell you that much. Creepy looking fish. Wait, do we get a? Uh, wait, hold up. Um, fifty nine point four. 60% we use a flying collar rig. Uh, the flying collar rig is a sea tackle with an artificial silicone worm. It allows you to efficiently eat, catch not only bottom fish, but also pelagic predators such as saith and haddock. Okay. So uh, what, kind, what kind of worms can I use with this? I don't know. You guys can let me know. I don't know. Do I get 60%? No, that's 65 Huh. Okay, interesting. I don't know what that is, but okay. Okay, so we can catch a lot of fish on the uh, white silicone thing here. Uh, I switched it up to another um, another wacky rig, a wacky lure. I'm using that white one up there on top left. It's not doing too bad. I never thought about using one of those, but it's not it's not doing too bad. My goodness this is the first edible crab I have ever caught on this account oh my goodness what are you a dungeness crab or something oh my goodness I'm actually I know it's a tiny one but I am I am so happy right now that is an ugly alien looking fish uh, okay <laughs> that's the first edible crab I'm, I'm so excited wow awesome Ooh, that's a nice whiting. Holy. Nice. Thank you.
my goodness. We got a king crab. We got an edible crab and a king crab. Oh my goodness gracious, gals and girls. I mean, guys and girls. <laughs> we are going places. Look at that. All right. I'd love to see it. Both crabs in one video. All right. I will definitely take it. Ooh, a mussel. Ooh. Yes, I think this is my second mussel. I caught one yesterday, but I caught one today. You would love to see some mussels. Absolutely delicious. All right, let's keep on going. All right, guys, let's head to the cafe and see if there's anything juicy in there waiting. We didn't get... Oh, I got a beaked redfish last night, 1.1. 1. 1. Oh. Um, okay. Three haddocks. Okay. Get my handy dandy calculator out. I feel like I'm uh, Blue's Clues right now. Um, let's see. Okay, my handy dandy calculator says that we got 108... All right, sell that off. Mackerels, I'm surprised we didn't get any of those. I'm really surprised off that. Four pieces of only 400 grams for 100 silver. Oh, that's insane. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. Nope. Nope. Oh, 84. Oh, <laughs> that hurts. Nope. And, ooh, a Greenland halibut. Holy... All right, it's only one cafe order. I guess bagels can't be choose. This one is better than nothing. Okay, let's go to... Okay, sorry. I guess I have to sell my previous fish. Um, that will, This will not count because this was not the scene. <laughs> I tried to record another episode earlier today, and uh, it didn't go well. So I had to scrap that video, unfortunately. So all the fish you see that's not the sea, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so cod. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, only one cod as well? What's going on? Okay, thank you. Edible crab. It's only seven cents. Okay, bowl. A bowl that's worth seven cents. In Canada, that would be worth at least like 25, 30 bucks. Hell no. Um, European writing. Oh my goodness. What's with the silver? This is disgusting. Okay, 43. Not bad. Not bad. Haddock. 42. This doesn't count. 
This doesn't count. Muscle. Only three. What is going on with this over? Three cents for a muscle? I don't think so. Perch does not. Sorry, does not count. Pike does not count. Pollock. 80. Okay. King Crab. 13 cents for a King Crab. That's at least worth like 80 to 100 dollars. Yeah, right. Ruffy does not count. Safe. 88. Like I said, a lot of safes go for a little bit at least. Okay, sell that. Alright. The score points here. Plus 114. Sell. We got a dogfish. Not ten bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Um, turbot. Thirty-six dollars for a turbot. Nice. Okay. Vendes does not count. Oh man, if we could count uh, non-sea fish, yeah, I'd be juicy, but I can't do that. Um, year pelts. One twenty-five. What I bring again? These don't count. Oh, whitings do. And we got 62 in whiting. 62. So in total, with only one caffeine, we did not do that good today. We made 710 silver. That is not bad. How much silver do we have now? 5,500? All right. Not bad. I'll take 700 for two days. That's not bad at all. And we still have one day left in the boat ticket too. The three-day boat ticket. So we, if we stayed out there one more day, I could probably get 1,000 silver. That is not too bad. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, guys. Hit that head, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see all of you guys on the very next Rushing Fishing 4 episode. Take care.